live here over on YouTube as well. Good morning. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, I just wanted to come on and do a couple hopefully quick DIYs. Uh, if you share this video and uh, I will be putting your name in a drawing for a Christmas uh for a Christmas um, gift box, DIY box for you all. Okay. So share this video and I will put your name in a drawing for a Christmas DIY box. All right. So I got these last year uh, at Dollar Tree and they're like the wooden uh, little round things or whatever you want to call them. I want to try to make them into coasters. So I picked these up at Dollar Tree yesterday, and I think they're absolutely adorable, guys. Absolutely adorable. So we're going to open one up. I have yet to decorate my house. So I'm hoping to get the stuff up there today and uh, get going. I'm anxious. I'm so anxious. Okay, so... For all you that don't know, it's always good to pull back the second layer. Now, I always have issues with the second layer. I'm trying to get that off. It's like a pain in the butt. I don't know what I do wrong, but I always have technical difficulties. If anybody has an easier way, comment down below. And tell me how you pull yours apart. So I might not be able to. In all honesty. This is terrible. Alright guys. I guess not. I guess we are not going to mess around with it. Alright. So I'm going to leave them as is. Um, and then we're going to cut around it, but I will cut these in half. Maybe just maybe if I do that, huh? Maybe that'll work. Maybe not. It would probably help if I had my other glasses on. And also comment down below if you guys have started decorating your house yet and if so please you're more than welcome to post on my facebook page i cannot wait to decorate mine so i can do my fall house tour okay so what we're going to do is we're going to take some mod podge all right and i was going to paint these and I'm like, you know what? No, I I like the wooden the wooden effect of them. Um, this is dishwasher safe Mod Podge. So if you're going to use them for coasters, real coasters, where you're really going to put your drinks on, use dishwasher safe. Um, it works so much better. Put a generous layer. Yeah, I got my fan going, guys. It's awful. Even though it's not too bad out today, it gets awful warm in my crafting studio. So what we're going to do is we're going to lay this right on top. And then what I'm going to do before I do cut around it just so that way it's like an even uh, even circle. I'm going to take my Mod Podge. And I'm going to carefully, here comes my cat, put a generous amount on top. And that way, when the edges get a little bit wet, you can just start peeling away. Oh, 
Okay. Or cut away, however we want to do it. Oh, yeah, perfect. Perfect. Now, I'm not going to do all four of them with you. I'll do a couple. And I'll finish the couple later. And then I'm going to work on um, another project. But if you can get these at Dollar Tree, I think, I mean, you could do Christmas coasters, Halloween coasters. Um, you can do any kind of coasters, really, in all reality. And then just take some Mod Podge and just seal it. Seal it around the corners, guys, or the edges, and just pull whatever remaining tissue off. I think it's so much better to do it this way than to try to cut and then try to make a perfect circle, and then you have your circle all messed up or it just doesn't look correct or I've had that happen many times. Us as crafters, I don't know if you realize that, you know, once you make the mistake once, you don't want to make it again. And I've made plenty of mistakes crafting and I'm sure, 100% sure. And I'm just going around and I'm mod podging the sides. Like I said, I'll probably use these just for coasters in one of my living rooms. I have two living rooms to decorate, so. And I don't, I don't, I love to like go all out, but I don't like to go all out. I don't like a lot of clutter, but I like it, you know, just enough to, to keep my house looking pretty for the holidays. It's the holiday season. And just make sure you get around it. So if you have your cups on there. And then once it dries, which you can't really tell. Uh, once it dries, I mean, it'll. I thought that was a piece of the napkin. So, yeah, once it dries, it'll look, you know, so much better. But it's definitely got to dry. So we're going to take. What? upsets me the most is I can't get this apart and I don't understand why maybe some of them don't have that I don't know okay so we're going to do one more take the Mod Podge generously lay it on there I got a bucket full of brushes it's got to go up to my kitchen and get cleaned out today. But I hope everybody had a fabulous weekend. Fabulous. My weekend was, uh, it was okay. Um, okay, I want to I wanna start uh, cooking this week. I got a couple recipes that I'm going to be doing. And, uh. sharing some good food with you guys. If there's any recipes that you guys want to share, go over to my Facebook page and share. And for all my Facebookers, please follow me over on YouTube, Beads Country Corner. Like I said, if you share this video, I will put your name in a drawing for a Christmas DIY box. Share, share, share. I would so appreciate that, guys. Once I get enough followers, as you can see, I'm just starting out. Um, once I get enough followers, I will be doing, you know, a lot more giveaways you know, a lot more fun stuff we will definitely be doing. But I don't have a lot of followers right now. 
but if you can get this out there, I really appreciate it. For my YouTube channel, please go over there, guys, and like, subscribe, and hit that button. You'll get a notification every time I go live or upload a video. All right, so once again, I'm going around. I'm also putting some Mod Podge around here. I'm so excited for the holidays. So excited to decorate. I love the apple cinnamon smell in my home. Pumpkin spice. I absolutely love it. It's, oh, you know when it's fall when I have my, my, my wax melts burning. And it's just, I love that smell. My cat is underneath my, my leg tickling me. All right. No, Lily, stay out of there. I know, meow. You just want to be on camera. She's too much. She spoiled her and my dog. It's actually my, my son's cat. And where he lives, he's allowed to have animals. But he also has another cat named Sophie. Beautiful calico. And uh, that's how it looks. And, of course, it's got to dry. So I'm going to put them over here to dry. So she's more of an outdoor cat and Sophie's not. So unfortunately, um, she had to come stay with me, which, you know, breaks my son's heart because that's his baby. I mean, they're both his babies, but that's his baby right there. All right. So I'm going to take some rubbing alcohol, which I need to put in my glass squirt bottle. I do have a glass squirt bottle, a bunch of them anyways, that I use to um, fill with water, a little bit of dish soap, just like a cleaning solution. Uh, and if I use Mod Podge, and I know I'm going to need this for something else, it's just quick clean, and it works great. It really does. Rubbing alcohol is, is awesome. So I have to definitely do the mixture. And I like to clean my brushes with a little bit of rubbing alcohol, soap, and water. I don't know if you guys have ever tried that, but it, it does work. Amazing. Okay. So let me put the top on this. The other DIY I wanted to do, and I got these last year as well at Wegmans. They were on sale. There's the little um, wood cheese boards. Now, I didn't know what I wanted to do with them last year. And three come in a pack. And I'm like, you know what? And they were for a dollar. And these were, I think, originally like $5.99, $6.99 or something like that. And they had a clearance for a dollar. I'm like, I'm a crafter. I can find something to do with these. I mean, anytime anybody has anything on clearance, I kind of snatch it up. Hi, Lily. So, wasn't sure what I wanted to do with this, but we're just going to wing it, guys. So, here it is. It is a cheese board. Just a cheap wooden one. And we are going to decorate this. I did pull out some fall wooden letters. Oh, I'm hitting my mouse. I apologize. Some fall wooden letters here. F-A-L-L, F-A-L-L, all right, my other screen up here can see it better than my YouTube, definitely got to put these in a plastic Ziploc bag, I always tend to um, be organized, I do have one of these rub-ons, which I Lily, get back. Get down. Sorry, guys. Uh, which I was thinking about putting on here. This rub-on transfer. It says, Hello Autumn on it. So what we are going to do first, and I mean, I was going to paint this orange, but this is already orange as it is. So I wanted to go with a little cream color. Uh, I was going to do black, but... 
and I didn't want to go all the way white, but I got some Craft Smart Vanilla. And I actually ordered this from Walmart. If I get the plastic off. Walmart or Michaels, unsure. Either or, I get a lot of my paint from both places, so. So we're going to see what the vanilla looks like, guys. Squirt, squirt, squirt. <clears throat> I don't know. That might be a little bit too white. But I don't know. Maybe not. Because I do have ribbon. I actually have white ribbon. So, I guess we are going to use some Art Minds white chalk paint. Changed my mind. Brand new. Not even opened. Not even opened. I'm having technical difficulties. Also, I want to throw it out there. That I would love to do a kids craft uh, once a week, guys. Either Saturday or even maybe just Sunday afternoon. I know you know winter time's coming, fall's coming. Us as parents need breaks from time to time. Um, and I am so willing to take an hour, hour and a half. And just craft with your child. Um, I think it would be fun. I promise to keep it budget friendly. Uh, Halloween is, you know, peeking around the corner. And I know children love to do Halloween crafts. I know my grandkids do. My grandson, Fussy Pants, a.k.a. Colton. Um, he absolutely loves crafting with his grandma. So... If that's something that you guys are interested in, comment below and let me know. And I would put up an event once a week. Um, oh, the bracelet's falling off. I would, if, if we're going to have it on Sunday, I would put it up the Sunday before. And put up what we're going to need for um, our, our craft. You know what supplies we're going to need and what we're going to craft. I'll make sure that I do up a little one and post a picture of what we're going to be doing and then a list of crafts that we're going to be doing as well, guys. So if that's something you're interest in, in, interested in for your little ones, please let me know. Um, as long as there's five or more kids, I will go live every Saturday slash Sunday. Um, it depends, or I could do both, um, it depending on, um, who wants what and all that good stuff. So, or whose availability is better. Um, I know kids are back to school and I know Sunday nights it's, you know, bed or bath time bed and, uh, school the next day so it could be sunday afternoon you know after lunch would probably be the best so you know they're on a full stomach um i think that would be fun and i would love to do that you don't see very many um crafting pages just for kids you know and like i said winter time's coming and they don't need to sit in front of a gaming system all day long or the TV all day long, you know. Just putting another coat on this, guys. Not going to make this too fancy. Just something to put up in my house. And now because I decided to with the Hello Autumn Rub-On Transfer. 
I'm not going to worry about this fall right now. This is going to be for another project only because um, there's a couple more projects I want to do for my home. After that, we're going to be doing some Halloween and then I'm just going to jump right on into Christmas, guys, because before you know it, Christmas is going to be here before you know it, it is going to be here. So um, I'm sure everybody's already decorating their house for fall and all that good stuff and Halloween. But like I said, I, I, I put Halloween in with my fall. Because in all reality, all goes. Because I don't have time to decorate for fall, take it down. Decorate for, you know, Halloween, take it down. Thanksgiving, take it down. Christmas. I could take my fall stuff, incorporate it into Halloween, which Halloween is cold leaves, pumpkins. Uh, and then you got Thanksgiving, that's pumpkins, leaves, gourds, you know, what I do do is right after Halloween, I pull my Halloween stuff out and, uh, I tend to decorate for Christmas before Thanksgiving. Um, my husband don't like, like it, but I like it. So, you know, some people are, they're like, oh, Christmas. Oh, no. Yes, I love my tree up for Thanksgiving, which is weird. I don't know. I don't know if anybody does that. If you guys decorate before Christmas um, or, yeah, around Thanksgiving time, do you put your stuff up? Put a comment down there. Let me know. All right, I'm just going to paint the back real quick. Just a little splish splash. Unfortunately, I don't have my watch down here. I have to um, do this craft and run. I have a doctor's appointment at 12.15. I have to get a heart monitor put on for 48 hours. Uh, it's something that they just do once a year. So I don't want everybody to think like there's something seriously wrong. I hope not, but it's just a precautionary. As you can tell, I don't know if you can tell from the video, I had blood taken this morning. I had to go get that done. And I'm like, you know what? I need to come home. I need to craft. I need to get things done. I need to pull out something for dinner yet. Um, and I need to bring all my crafting stuff that I'm going to be decorating with up in my house. Because tomorrow my daughter works and I babysit my, my youngest grandson. My youngest of four. I got four grandsons. And uh, I babysit him while my daughter works. So I figure while it's just him and I tomorrow. And while he's napping. I can um, get my uh, house decorated. And then do the video, upload my video for each and every one of you to see. I did start a video on my wooden centerpiece that used to be an old shelf. I started the video yesterday. Um, it's taking me days to get it painted. That's one of the videos I'm doing where you see start to finish. And I will upload it and... Um, edit it a little bit and then just do it out there. I think I'm go I'm not sure if I'm going to go live with my fall house tour. I'm unsure yet. Um, if I do, I will set up like an event thing on what time I'm going live. So you guys can see and what day actually. All right, so we're going to let this dry a little bit. I keep forgetting to bring my blow dryer down because I absolutely don't use my blow dryer. Very seldom in the wintertime mostly, but... What I like to do is because this is just thin wood, I just like to take my brush and uh, just brush it along a little bit because it does 
dry it quicker and thinner wood. I don't know if you've all noticed. You get the edges over here. I know I missed some. Definitely have to wash my hands. I bought gloves yesterday just so I can paint and not destroy my hands. And I left them upstairs in the bathroom drawer. When I put the garbage, the mini garbage bags away for the bathroom yesterday. So, so yes, please, if over my Facebook group, please go, please, you could please share my Facebook. Um, please share on Facebook. I will put your name in a drawing. You can also go over to my, uh, I'm so sorry, guys, YouTube channel. Please like, share, and subscribe, guys, please. Um, I, I will put your name in a drawing for a Christmas DIY. And if I get enough of yes, I can even do two. Um, that just shows my appreciation for you sharing and liking my content. Trying to get myself out there. I know everything starts small, you know, everything doesn't happen overnight. And I, I totally understand that. So. All righty. Beauteous, guys. Beauteous. Not bad. Not bad. Put in front of the fan. Oh, dear goodness. Let's see how these are coming out. Oh, they're starting to dry. They're starting to dry. Let's see a little piece sticking out here. Definitely. Huh. Nice. 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 Yeah, I'm going to use those for my coasters. See a little dampness. Not much. Not much, guys. Not much. Oh, it's almost 11. I got plenty of time. <gasps> Ooh, excuse me. Uh, okay. All right. Voila. They were going to maybe dry brush a little bit of color onto this, too. So it's not so funky. But um, definitely going to put some ribbon around it. Unsure. I got some really cute fall gathering from uh, Dollar Tree. All right, guys, so I got the Hello Autumn. It's a rub-on transfer. All right, and I think I'm going to slap this baby right in the middle. And I don't know what I did with my little tool I had. I need to seriously organize my workbench. I never have time to uh i mean i do have time to clean up but i don't have time to clean up you know especially when you get mom can you come sit with the baby or you know where is this or where's that i'm sure y'all know all right so we're gonna put this right in the middle slap that in the middle I'm just going to rub it with my hand first. And hopefully, maybe Santa Claus would be good to me this year and get me a cricket. I really want a cricket this year. I really do. So I'm hoping uh, Santa will be good to me. Like I said, I love crafting. Last, last year, I did sell a lot of my Christmas stuff I made. Um, that's why this year I want to get on the ball and making it. I did it. Started way late last year and um, orders I had like I had to rush to get them done. Not all of them, um, but few of them, you know, I had to hurry up and get done because I waited so late in the season to um, craft all my 
uh, Christmas stuff. So we're definitely going to be doing a early um, Christmas uh, crafting series, guys. And I just want to make sure it's on there and it's not going to mess up. You can tell when it's on because of the color. It starts to turn lighter. It's like the rest of these just want to procrastinate. So we're just going to gently... Yeah. Not yet. Yeah, this one's taking a little longer than... I don't know, if maybe because it's on wood. Could be. I know it's not wet, so... It's dry. You guys want to head over to my Facebook page? I gotta close this out. I don't know what's wrong with that. Some about Google TV. But yeah, if you want to head over to my Facebook page and uh, Beast Country Corner, post your recipes, post your beautiful crafts. I would even love to see your house decorated for fall. Halloween, guys. Like I said, is there anything that you bought from Dollar Tree or anywhere? Secondhand store and you're stumped on something. And you don't know what to do with it. Comment down below and I will be more than happy to help y'all. All right, let's see how far we are now. So what I'm going to do on here is when I do get this all on, I will throw a little bit of Mod Podge on top of it just to seal it, guys. Just to seal it. This thing is taking forever, forever in a day. But if it was on glass, I'm sure it would have came right out, right, or got right on, but that's okay. The A needs to stick. Yep, so this is almost done, guys. I did not realize it was going to take this long to uh, rub on here. Then again, you know, these are, these ones anyways are made for glass. I'm trying to rub as fast as I can. I just don't want to rip anything, you know? Because you can always tell when it's on there because it turns, it turns clear. I don't know why something's wrong with my phone. So, yeah, definitely. Probably my daughter calling me. She calls me a hundred times a day. We live in the same house. Does that make sense? It's almost there. Promise. It's 
Almost there. It's like the lettering is taking forever. I said I've never used this stuff on wood before. Only on glass. Let me try going sideways. But I thought this would be cute for this cheese board decor. A little bit of ribbon. Oh, I think it would be beautiful. All right, I'm going to try to... Yep, it's that one. I don't know. I can't get... This one's not down either. Well, by golly, I cannot believe this is happening. So sorry, this is taking forever, guys. I got all these. I don't know. I almost got the Oh no I think the paint was a little too wet And I think I messed it up Huh. Let me see real quick, guys. And it's stuck. This is what I'm talking about when you do boo-boos. I swear this paint was dry. Yeah, it messed it all up. I am so upset. Look at that. The paint stuck to the back. That's why it wasn't coming off. So, what we are going to do is sand that down a little bit, and we are going to do something different. Soon as, oh, it's fine, it's sanding block. I cannot believe that happened. I don't understand, it was dry. I, you know, I've noticed the past couple days, guys, I have been having technical difficulties with my chalk paint. I've never had issues with chalk paint before in my life. In my life. All right. So what we're going to do, only because I'm not going to be able to um, cover that with anything um, there was something else I wanted to do with it I mean like I said it's for my decor purposes only and I don't want to um, ruin this any more than what I did so I am going to stick that there and I'm going to grab another one real quick Oh, God bless America. I apologize, everybody. I did not realize that was honestly going to happen to me. All right. So, I don't know if you've seen these at Dollar Tree at all, but I think they're absolutely adorable. And I think this would look absolutely cute. This is what I was going to do with the other one. I think that would look absolutely amazing. Don't you think? So, here we go. Quick coat of paint. At least this, all I gotta do is hot glue it on. And throw some ribbon. Because I swear to you, I promise it was dry. It was completely dry. Because I didn't put a lot on. So, we're going to do a really fast coat. Once that dries... Um, I'm going to sand that one down a little bit. I will not let it go to waste because I can fix that right back up. Definitely. 
Definitely, definitely. Okay. I'm sure we have, we've all had boo-boos in our lifetime. Today happens to be my real boo-boo day, which I don't understand. Why me? Why me? But that's all right. As a matter of fact, my big glue gun I got to take back to the store today because I went to go glue something this morning that I had to fix of mine. And uh, it literally, like, I don't know, the trigger snapped and it just wouldn't work no more. I was so angry. So angry with it. But it is what it is. So we're going to put that fall pumpkin on our little cheese board. That's another thing I was planning on doing with that. Anyways, I got harvest or gather and I got harvest. The harvest has got the one with the black on it. And I have no clue what I did with it. I'm so upset. So I got the gather. I got the fall. And then I got the black harvest. And then as soon as I'm done with this project, I am going to bring start bringing my fall stuff upstairs little by little. And I promise I will bring down my, uh, what do you call it? My blow dryer. So I can start drying this stuff a lot quicker. So sorry, everybody. So this is take two. I am not going to worry about the back. Like I said, it's for my decor purposes only. Um, there's only a couple more things that I want to do for fall and then just to slap it up, oops, slap it together, you know, with my decor. And then we're going to do a little bit of Halloween, bunch of recipes, and then we're going to work on um, Christmas, guys. Christmas is the most wonderful time of the year. I better not get paint on my shirt. All right. So, so we're going to do, I'm going to take this and I'm going to cut this off. This little hanger thing, if I can get it off. There we go. There we go. I got some cute little raffia. And I think it will look amazing on here. It did come with raffia bows, these ones, but I took them off, guys. It came just like that, so I just took it off for the time being. Okay. It might, just might, dry brush just a little bit of orange on the edge, depending. I could have even done some white and orange checks on here, but I didn't. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our hot glue, okay? And I'm going to take it down here in the bottom. And then we're going to go right over to the edge, guys, and a little bit in the middle. Because this is an outside rounded pumpkin. Okay. Just be careful you don't burn yourself. It's metal. All right. So we're going to put this in the middle. And I think I went to the edge. I knew I was going to do that. That dried too quick. So let me pull this off, guys. It 
that fan doesn't do any any justice over here but like I said I have to have it on but once I whip this up I promise we'll be done I'm so sorry it took so long today so sorry this is a horribly long video and I apologize to each and every one of you Alrighty. So we're just going to take this. My cat is up by my feet. Just going to glue it there first. And then we're going to take a little bit of glue. I don't know if you can hear my cat or not. She is funny. She probably wants to go outside. She likes to go in and out, in and out, in and out. Lily, I'll be with you in a moment. Moment. I got paint on this. I did, I did. Well, they stop. All right, so I'm going to take it over here and I'm going to squeeze a little bit of glue. Just a little hole to the side. Squeeze it down. And I'm going to do it over here. Squeeze it in the little crease. And then squeeze it over. And it'll stay just fine, guys. As you can see. Lily. We don't want to hear you. All right. So I'm going to just take a little bit of orange. I don't know which this one. dust off anything on here okay so I'm gonna take a little bit of orange guys I'm just dry brushing This on the sides. And I'm taking my paper towel. Rubbing it on there. And do some little swirlies up there at the top. Lily, get down. She's trying to jump on my table. How dare her. She's spoiled. It's a little rotten. And because it's been forever, guys, I'm just dry brushing more orange. Um, just to give it that aged, like old look, pretty much. And then I'm going to take some raffia. And I am just going to put some raffia on the side. I'm just going to keep this simple today just because we really messed up on that. I want to run a Dollar Tree and see if they do have another one of those. Um, just to see. Which I doubt it because my Dollar Tree doesn't have anything ever. Literally. I had to go out of town to, to get what I needed. All right. 
down just a little bit. Well, if I didn't have to get ready for the doctors and situate it, then I just need the best looking thing ever, but it's for me, and I'm sure I can find a place for it. Dried brush, a little bit of orange on top. Oh, that one went out. So I dried brushed a little bit of orange on top of it. Um, not too worried about the back, like I said. That's just going to, this is just going to sit up somewhere. <coughs> but I think it looks cute. I mean, I can even take a ribbon if I wanted to later. Um, maybe put some ribbon underneath. Just to accent it out a little bit. I'm sure I'll, I'll do something a little bit more to it later. Uh, if I didn't have to, excuse me, um, get situated and get some stuff ready and go to the doctors, then I, I definitely um, would have done a little bit more to this. But if I do decide to do anything more, I will definitely show you. Um, I honestly like it as is. I just think it's just cute, simple, a little bit of orange. You know, put it up against anywhere, hang it somewhere. I don't know. I think it's absolutely cute. Cute, simple. Take anything and you can you can make whatever out of it. Really. I'm one of those. I try to uh I try to um use my imagination, which everybody should use their imagination. All right, so because I've got so much to do and I've got crafting that I still have to get done for more of my fall decor. Um, I have got to run everybody. So, please if you like what you see, and like I said, please be patient with me. I'm fairly new. Um, please like, subscribe, hit the subscribe button, and uh, we'll go from there. Everybody have a blessed day, and I will hope to see you soon.